This is Helen Vandenberg here from GetClimbsFast.net and um, I'm out today looking a little bit windswept. I'm in London uh, just by the River Thames. You can see some beautiful architecture over there. Oh, you can't see it. The, the London Eye is just that way and I'm outside the Royal Festival Hall. And I wanted to, I was just grabbing a coffee and checking my Facebook post and I had some amazing comments on a post I did recently which asked, you know, what would you do with your first 5k month? Um, what would you do with the money? And um, I was really inspired by one of our um, dear followers on Facebook, Judith, who um, we got into a conversation talked about, uh, about, oh, hey, Jenny, how is it there in the sun? How brilliant to see you. I was so chuffed that you're there with the Um Anyway, guys, so I wanted to talk a little bit about freedom. Um, we were watching Judith had said, you know, whilst money is great, you know, to have stuff is great, actually, what it generally buys you is freedom. And, you know, I've got some luck in the past because a lot of my stuff, you know, I'm teaching people how to get clients, which ultimately means how to get money. So, um, often you might get things where uh, I might market something like a 10K in 10 days challenge or, you know, 50K in the next 52 weeks, how are you going to do it? And it can seem a bit lightweight. But the truth is, she's absolutely right. Money is, for me, is all about freedom. But I, when people often come to me, they're either at that stage where they're just trying to get that business off the ground, or they are working really hard and they need to make their business work for them. So I was really just jotting down what are some of the freedoms that, there's almost like a hierarchy here of the different freedoms that you might experience. So number one is the freedom from worry. So when you start making consistent income in your business, then um, it's that freedom from worry. We've all been there. I am nothing special. I have, I've done exactly like you. I have worked at McDonald's. I have taken freelance jobs whilst I couldn't get enough clients from my first business. You know, we all had to start somewhere. So when I was first kicking off my training consultancy, I was working for four other people whilst I was still trying to grow my own business. And when I got those first clients, particularly when they started paying retainers, um, the first thing that I had the freedom was from worry of knowing that I could pay the rent or and also believing in myself that I could make it happen. And I think sometimes you need to have a good few clients to actually really get to that place. So the first one is freedom from worry. The next one is the freedom of who you get to work with. Um, and this can be your clients. Uh, as in, um, you know, the type of people you want to work with. I know sometimes when you're starting, you feel like you've got to serve everyone. I had a great conversation with one of our client attraction mastermind um, VIP clients today, and we were talking about, you know, when a non-ideal client presents it to themselves to you, and they really need your help, but you know it's not a fit. Actually having the confidence to say, you know what, I, I, I don't need to do this right now. I can, I can grace gracefully pass you on to somebody else and also let you, you know, let you get better service and let me focus on the people I'm really here next to. And the who, in terms of freedom from who, it could be also who you work with at home. Um, it could be, or maybe, or in an office, maybe you want to bring your partner in. Many of my clients want to retire their husbands from their corporate job. Um, I'm not sure how the husbands feel about that. But um, they often want to retire their husbands, bring their husbands into the business or their kids. Or like me, you know, sadly we lost our beautiful Meg Mork, the wonder dog, recently. Um, there will be more dogs, fear not. And um, yeah, I mean, I want to be at home with dogs too. If I can go running around in the, uh, in the for a run in the day and take them out off the sun is just coming up and have something warm and furry at my feet. So sometimes the who is that. Another freedom is the type of work. So maybe you're looking for the type of work. So if you are still in your nine to five job and doing your coaching or your expert business on the side, or um, hey Karen, great to hear see you here. Hey Helen, thanks so much for joining us. We just talked about what freedom money brings you. And um, so when you do get that first 5K month and then you're able to replicate it, well, what does that really do? Because you know, you know, a little bit of bling is nice, but we probably don't need that much stuff. So what is it we're doing it all for? So we've come up so far with the freedom from worry, just that constant worry of, am I going to make enough of the rent for the mortgage this month? Can I pay for the kids? Holiday, uh, schooling, whatever. Um, and uh, clients, uh, the freedom of clients, choosing who you work with, as in your client, but also, um, oh, thanks, Jen. Uh, also, who you work around. Do you want to work in cafes? I've discovered this beautiful hotel and I want to work there, and that's where I'm going to hang out for the next few days. 
And then the type of work you do. So do you get to do that deep transformational work? So really thinking about, you know, what is the actual work? What's the outcome you want to bring to the, to the world? Another type of freedom is time. This is kind of where I'm at in my business is I'm looking for ways where I can still give amazing service to my clients and make them feel highly valued, but without doing 50 hour weeks. Sometimes I achieve it, sometimes I don't. Um, but time for many of us, you know, I know the dream is always to have, you know, a part-time job with a full-time income and that is totally doable, but it does take a while to get there. And you also do have to sacrifice some stuff. If you want to give everyone a 90 minute one-on-one -on -one session every week or you want to do the hands-on therapy treatment yourself, then, um, then you know, actually there's going to be a, you're going to have to charge a lot or you're going to have to find a way of making yourself so elite and premier that oh you only you can manage to work with elite clients hey jenny's saying here i want the freedom to do what i love most and help my son to do the same oh that is just beautiful um so, yeah absolutely good time the next one um i've been doing my homework here i'm thinking what else is place so you know today we're in the amazing city of london um I'm, it's quite funny so i've built this laptop business that i can live and work from anywhere but the truth is, I live in the Burbs in, in Chelmsford in Essex, which, you know, is beautiful. My house is gorgeous. We have a beautiful park and a forest nearby. But it's, you know, it's not exactly Rio de Janeiro, is it? But I love that. And actually, that's my choice. Paul Lit works in London. So unless I'm going to ditch the husband, that's probably going to be where I'll be for a while. But it does mean I get to, I have the choice. So what, the way I work that now is for the last few months, I've been taking a week off. So usually it's four or four days off in the week. So once a month I go and do something where I can travel. And sometimes that's just down to Somerset to see my folks. And sometimes it's uh, somewhere in, usually it's a New York or a conference to go and, you know, hang out with my internet marketing buddies. So the place, like where you work. So Jen, you can have your retreats in Spain. You could um, have some clients here in London. You could, um, I, I Paul thinks I'm bonkers by the way, but I quite like seeing clients when I'm on holiday. It's like if I'm going to Paris, I can't think of anything better than meeting up with clients there and having an amazing mastermind or retreat as well as having a holiday. So, but maybe that's just me. And then finally, I think the, the final, you know, if this is going to be like Helen's hierarchy of freedom, then the final one is contribution. Um, and this is, I think we often get this wrong, is that this is about the really big things you can do when you have um, uh, when you when you've got more than enough for yourself so um, if you look at any of the big internet gurus I, I've been masterminding with Jeff Walker for years um, and if you look at some of his recent posts he talks about you know set, setting up schools in Africa um, Fabian Fredrickson she does the same she's kind of sponsored a few schools or her clients have so um, uh, many people, I'll probably do something with dogs, I'm currently writing a, a book for um, the charity where we got Meg Moss. So all things where um, you actually then, when you have income freedom, you get to do some of the stuff that you probably were doing all along the hard way. Um, so I, often I find that people trying to make that transition from, you know, I really want to serve the world, but I kind of, you know, how can I make enough and be, you know, and be valuable to society and make great money and um, make a contribution. So many of us are end up doing, giving up away our, our precious time when actually we can make actually a lot more impact with money as well. So, you know, maybe that, so those are my freedoms. So what would you do with your first 5K, 10K, 20K month? And what if you knew you could repeat that? Because it's not about being greedy, it's about having freedom. Now, some people will choose to go and buy a Lamborghini or something. You might need more than 5k a month for that. Um, but most of us will just do a bit of an upgrade, and there's nothing wrong. If you love the bling, there is nothing wrong with that. If that's what makes your heart sing, there's nothing wrong. Um, and what you'll also get as byproduct is the freedom from worry, worrying about paying the rent, freedom from clients you don't want to work with or working in having to take that extra job um, doing the work you love doing it where in the world you want to um, the amount of time you're working what if you could run your business on two days a week pretty much what I've done for the whole summer I, I, we were taking great care of Meg when she had cancer and obviously then I was grieving for a couple of weeks I kind of took 10 days off completely and then the whole of the uh, summer I was pretty much running the business in two and a half days a week uh, you can do that when you've got things set up in place. And then 
what's your contribution? You know, what is the freedom of contribution? Anyway, I would love to know what does free financial freedom mean to you? And when your when your business is rocking, what are the freedoms you are enjoying? And what what are you doing now? Because don't wait, don't wait until you make that five k, ten k month. If that's on your agenda, speak to me or another amazing coach because it is actually doable. I am nothing special. If I can do it, you absolutely can. But don't wait. And then start weaving those things into your life now. Anyway, guys, I'll sign up for now. Thanks so much for um, connecting. Great to see you all here. And um, I'll see you soon. It's Helen Vandenberg from GetClientFast.net. Bye.